what's up everybody? Well, as you can't tell, or you probably can, my voice is gone. But doesn't matter because behind me is this awesome Jayco Baja 17 foot trailer owned by my good buddy Wally. What's going on guys? Come on in. Two thousand nineteen Jayco one seventy five RD Baja. Uh, Baja, I mean, it's got a lift kit, spring over axle. It's got different wheels and tires, bigger water storage, more propane. Uh, it's kind of set up to go, you know, a week, two weeks on the road, and uh, you're kind of limited by the water. Other than that, I mean, bring spare water, you can be out there for months. She got mad clearance. We almost got her buried in the sand last night getting in here, huh? We sure did. <laughs> I mean, I had still two feet of of clearance going over. Some pretty big obstacles. 2019, I just bought it uh, four or five months ago. I had about 3,000 tow miles and a few nights of camping. I picked it up in Idaho, so that's where all the miles came from. I did uh, dual group 27 batteries, uh, dual 30 pound liquid propane, electric tongue jack, uh, just to get fancy with it. It does have an electric awning. I'll show you here. Oh. It's all one touch. It's also got a, an LED light strip that lights up camp pretty nice. Oh yeah, look at that awning, bud. It gets the job done. It's actually, uh, I've had it in the rain once and even with a strong headwind, it was still totally fine. It didn't get wet at all, so. Can't get any easier than that. Nice. There it is. Well, heck yeah. The whole under the front bed, the entire thing is a, uh, a storage cubby here. I literally only have one chair in there right now, but that whole, it's a full size queen, not an RV queen. The entire underside, minus where the water tank sits, is all storage. I mean, I can't fill the storage on this thing. It's got probably four times the storage I would ever use. That's awesome. You know? That's awesome. And right now you're towing her with the old Super Duty, huh? I sure am. Beautiful truck you built here. Wally. Thanks. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. That was a uh, one hell of a project. But unfortunately, the truck is for sale and I'm tossing up selling the Jayco. Um, just want something a little smaller. That's that's the only reason I'm getting rid of it. Uh, other than that, it's it's going to be a, a tough sale. It's got all the amenities. I mean, I took, I took a warm shower this morning right on the Colorado River. So can't beat that. I'll tell you, I'm sure, certainly going to be bummed when, when you do sell it because like at King of the Hammers, when we all wanted to get real comfy and relax, we'd hit up Wally's trailer. When we wanted to pull over and cook something real quick, Wally's always set up. When some girl wants to use the bathroom, yep. you know, Wally's got it, which can be annoying, right? I got a full tank. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, but to be honest, like when you have that many amenities too, like I think yeah. that's one of the reasons you might even be selling it is like, people like a lot of other people that don't have that you want to you want to make them comfortable too and then you're like at this whole camp host position mm -hmm. so, yeah it's nice at times but it gets a little old yeah for sure so, shall we go inside let's check it out so it's got led lights in the whole uh in the whole unit everything's led there's nothing old school uh it's got a side mount ac unit uh, which can run off of a uh, standard 15 volt cord um or a small little honda 2000 will power it no problem uh doesn't have to cool down. I fired it up in like 115 and it was doing a good job for its small size for sure. Nice. Um, this curtain here separates the bed from the back, uh, which if it's, you know, a couple or you want some privacy, it splits the whole unit in two, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, it's got wardrobe closet here. I can hang up all my clothes, all my camo and, and whatnot. That was the big selling point for me buying this thing was the big dinette in the rear. It's got full wraparound windows, makes into a bed, uh, so somebody else can crash out there. Uh, I've slept back there before and it's super comfortable. Um, and yeah, this is the under the bed storage. Tons that all lifts up. I mean, you got tons and tons of room down there. This whole overhead console storage. We've got a Dometic fridge and freezer combo. That swings all the way open when you want to grab a drink from the outside. Plenty big. And then the main course dinette. But first, we got to show you the full 
walk-in, not wet bath, meaning you have a separate tub uh, from the toilet itself. Uh, and it's pretty roomy. There's room for two. For air fresheners provided by Icon. Thanks, guys. Yep, thanks again. <laughs> Bathroom smells great. <laughs> I noticed, like, this gives you all the headroom so you actually fit, right? And it does a great job with the light. Yeah. I mean, you can have all the lights off and the bathroom's always lit up. This was something I added on, too. Um, a smart TV. You know, if you're near Wi-Fi, you can throw on some Netflix or... I usually just stream it from my phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot, and I can watch TV if I'm somewhere, you know, where I have service, of course. Um, but yeah, it's a... Uh, it's definitely a, a good setup. It's a great setup. I'm, I hate to get rid of it, but you know, it is it is what it is. Keep your eyes out for a future Overland build. You know, I haven't even looked at my hair. Does my hair look terrible in this? It looks place? great. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, back to the action. We sat here in the dinette this morning, and I was just looking out over all these views, like holy cow, that's what's up. So yeah, having big windows is nice. Storage up here. Um, you got your suburban. Two burner, right? Yep. Got a nice fan. That fan actually works great. Yeah. It's my first time cooking it ever was on this trip, and no issues whatsoever. And it awesome. sucked all the uh, the smoke out, and it seemed great inside mm -hmm. for for this trip, especially with all the dust, a king of hammers, and wind. Yeah, that was very nice to be able to come back here, hang out in the dinette, get away from the dust and noise, and oh yeah, make my dinner, sit down and eat it. And then go back outside. I haven't fired up a generator. We've been on the road for what, almost a week now? Yeah, just so, just about six days, yeah. And I'm still, still... I got a third battery left. That's pretty awesome. And you don't have any solar or anything. You just got some solid batteries. Some good batteries and yeah. that's it. Yeah. yeah. How many gallons of water on this? 20 gallons fresh, 20 gallons gray, 20 gallons black. It's got plenty of uh, of water. I had I had a shower this morning. Nice. <laughs> and a shower two days ago. So I figured, you know, every two days you get a shower and you can go for a week, no problem. So this is the uh, the tow pig here. It's a 2008 F-250 Super Duty. I did a full build on it. Uh, did it all myself, all the paint and body work. Shot the whole thing in bed liner, all new glass, lift, wheels, tires, uh, the whole nine. I bought it in Alaska and uh, drove it back here with uh, another Jayco actually. Uh, camped in that for a while. That one had two pop-outs in it, and it wasn't holding up in the cold weather, so I ended up selling that and uh, buying a sweet truck camper um, that I'm sure you got some footage of. Photo shoot, hey bud. Hey. How do you like your StarCraft? It's all right. <laughs> a little big, a little big for a gas truck to be hauling it. <laughs> yeah, for sure, dude. You get the job done though. You get all your basic amenities. Yeah, dude. Bathroom, fridge, freezer. Yeah. Peter, AC, bump some tunes. Right. Should have never sold that truck camper. That was a big mistake. Yeah. Uh, now I'm gonna go back and do the same thing buying a truck camper. So I figured, you know, I'll try the trailer thing out. You know, it's just, mm -hmm. it's great. You could live in that thing for forever. Yeah. You know, but I want to go kind of a on a smaller scale. Yeah. Minimalist. I'm trying out the trailer life too. Temporary. I'm building my truck camper, and yeah, it's, I couldn't agree more with everything. Yep. It's fun. There are they are convenient. King of the Hammers was great to just oh, be yeah. able to drop it and mob the Jeep. Mm -hmm. But uh, overall, like quick explorability. Last night we were we were trying to get over here, like a little bit further, and we just kept getting caught up in these sand washes. Trailers were like, all right, all right, we gotta stop. Like, holy cow, Wally, these burritos are awesome. But Wally's looks perfect. Look at that. What do you guys think? Ooh. <laughs> How do you like cooking in the Jayco? Oh, I love it, man. I got a little two burner out here. I got a smoker in my truck, but I haven't even used it yet. Uh, gets the job done. Well, especially when it's windy. I certainly like you cooking in the Jayco. <laughs> <laughs> a little more space than the A liner, just by, well, by a good amount. Yeah. The rear dinette here to hang out and watch the ducks fly on the river. Yeah. The old Colorado. Hi right, man. Well, thanks for showing us the old camper while he's one of my good buddies. So it's really cool to be able to show off stuff that we're actually using out here. Um, I mean, everyone I, I do videos with, we're all using this stuff. But yeah, this thing's been a part of my life for a little while too. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to comment. Let us know what you think. The only question is, whoa, are whoa, you? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you down to mob? Tell him to subscribe, bro.
Ha ha ha!